Hey guys, Volgenrath here. Uh, we're going to be doing a how-to video on the Samsung Gear VR. How wonderfully awesome it is and how to record Samsung Gear VR applications. For the tutorial that we're about to do, you're going to need a few things. Hopefully you already have them. First things you're going to need is, of course, a Gear VR. Uh, they are not cheap. Unfortunately, next thing you need is a Samsung phone, preferably one of the newer models. I'll be using an S9 Plus for this, and you'll need a computer. Pretty much any computer will do. The faster, the better. That's kind of common. And you'll need the internet, because we're going to need to download some things and stuff and things and stuff. Okay, here we go. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you my desktop here so that I can do this is we go to internet browser and wow There's a whole lot of stuff happening in the world today. Cool story Whatever we're gonna go to Google and we're gonna look up side sync <clears throat> And go to side sync the first one the official Samsung website for side sync um, And you're gonna want to download this for PC or for Mac uh, this tutorial should work on both but for the purposes of this, because I'm using a PC, we're going to download for PC. So, yeah, boop, you download that, blah, 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 download it, run it, install it. Simple, simple. Okay, uh, close anyway, because I don't need any of that. The next thing you're going to need to do, and for the purposes of this, I'm going to pull up the SideSync app so that you can actually see my phone doing this I'm gonna put that up next to the phone oh god so many freaking all right is we need to get this app now you can't go to google play or the samsung store to get this app on newer samsung phones which sucks but trademark copyright blah 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 has prevented that we are going to do the workaround for that so pull up your internet browser whatever it is and this is the app that you're going to need but i'm going to show you how to get to it so how to get to it is we go to google and in google we type side sync apk Okay, now as you see, it shows up on Google Play, but you can't install it to your phone if you have a newer Samsung phone. So the next place we need to go is the APK Mirror. This place is one of the safest places I've found to find official APKs, especially if you've rooted or modded your phone. And as you can see, there's a newer version available. It always posts the newest version. So we're going to click that newer version. And at the time of doing this, it was 4.7.8.2. And we're going to just uh, scroll down and we're going to hit download that APK. And then it'll give you this download file. This file may harm your phone. It's not going to harm your phone. You just hit download and download it. Once it's downloaded, you're going to hit open file and install the app on your device. Now, there are going to be a couple different permissions that you're going to have to allow for that to happen. But once you allow it to happen, you open the app on your phone as well as on the computer and do the pairing. Once it's paired and everything, you should get your phone screen uh, to show up like this on your computer. Um, and you'll get your phone screen. Yay, phone screen. Um, but for right now, we need to close that out on your side. You got to close it out on your side because you need to actually be able to use your phone at this point. And when phone screen is on like this, you can't use your actual phone. Um, so then the next thing we want to do is you want to, on your actual phone, go to settings, scroll all the way down, and we need developer options. So if you haven't enabled this yet, I'll show you a little secret in to do that. You go to about phone, you go to um, software, information. And then you go to build number. And 
as you can see, my development mode's already been turned on. But if you tap on that a couple of times, it will turn developer mode on. And it will ask for your password or your, your PIN number or whatever to turn it on. So after you have that turned on, then you'll go to developer options. Scroll all the way down till you get to simulate secondary displays. And you can turn that on at 720 or 1080, whichever you prefer. My phone can handle the 1080, so we're going to do that. And then we clear all the way out and we're at this main screen here. So now that you've done that, you're ready to record your Gear VR. Now, the reason why we do the secondary display is because when you are doing your actual VR, the secondary display, um, the secondary display uh, is actually what will be recorded instead of the main screen. If you try to do it without doing the simulate secondary display, uh, the recording will lock up or the streaming will lock up. So I'm going to pull this up real quick and transition this over to this eye so that you can see both the cam and the phone as I work. Now, take our phone, put it into the VR. Da, da, da. And then for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use the headband to cover the sensor so that it shows that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to turn the volume all the way down because I don't want to blow you guys out with the audio. You just need to be able to hear me. Takes it a while because I have incremental steps on my volume, which is horrible. But as you can see, I can actually record. I can look up. I can look behind me. Oh, that's a really interesting place. And we're going to put it right there, right at like two. Okay, so then we're going to do that. And we're going to go to the library. And we're going to pull up. I got Minecraft, got keep talking, nobody explodes. Um, <clears throat> we'll just do keep talking, nobody explodes for right now. So, there you have it. I mean, I mean that's that's it right there. You, as you can see, I am inside one of the VR games, and uh, I can actually. It's a little bit latent, but not by much. But there you go. Because we're simulating a secondary display, we get a better flow on what's going on on the Gear VR. And that's how you can record it. Now you can record it as double lenses, or you can crop and record it however you want to do. Um, might have... Oh. Just turning this down a little bit. There we go. So hopefully that isn't like playing so loud that you can't hear me. But yeah, so that's how that's how all that works. There you go. And that's how to record your Samsung Gear VR simple as that hope you guys enjoyed and uh we'll catch you guys later